Hey, it's your buddy John here again, and today I have a box from Atlas with some pretty cool stuff in it. Let's go over to the workbench and take a look. Alright, so here's what we have here today. We have two pulpwood flat cars. One of them is decorated for Kansas City Southern and the other for CSX. And I'm going to set those aside here for a minute. And what we're going to look at first are the 41-foot ballast hoppers. And one is decorated uh, for CP rail, and the other one is decorated for Burlington Northern. So I'm going to open up the cases here, and we'll take a close look at these first. Okay, so I figure I'll do what I usually do. We'll look at these kind of overall, and then I'll go through each one working our way forward with one and backward with the other. Before I get to that, I want to mention that these are available in six different road names, and they come as singles or three packs. What we're looking at here today obviously would be two of the three packs. The price for the three packs on the website is $89.85, and the price for the singles is $29.95. And these are part of Atlas's master line. So let's take a closer look at the Canadian Pacific one first. So I figured we'll just look at one of these. They're all pretty much the same. Want to mention that these are for maintenance of way trains. And I'll show you the discharge gates later on the bottom, but you can see that they're intended for the ballast to spill out to the sides of the tracks rather than straight down like what you'd expect from other types of open hoppers like this. The uh, lettering is pretty clean. These ribs are fairly deep and there are some voids in the in the uh, markings there. All the small writing is legible with magnification except for the tiniest writing. And the uh, Pac-Man logo over here this is one of my favorite designs on trains. I don't know why, I just like the way it looks. They call it the Pac-Man logo. I think it's supposed to be an arrow in a circle, but it's nicely done. The colors are very good on it. The red's very red and the white's very white. So they did a good job there. And then these are for modern trains. They have the conspicuity stripes here. My first impression is that it's a very nice car. Something else I noticed when unboxing these is that they're fairly heavy and they're empty right now so I didn't weigh them but I could just tell from picking it up that it's fairly fairly heavy okay so I've put two on the table here one has the break end exposed the other one has the a end exposed just so that you can see the differences the brake wheel is a separately applied piece and because these are master line models they have stuff like that a separately applied brake wheel and just the detail in the ladders is pretty good on these. You can also tell from this angle that they have knuckle couplers. It looks kind of hard to see on the camera because this is all black. Maybe it'll show up better on the brown ones that we're going to look at in a minute. But if you look way back in there, there's an air reservoir. So there is some molded brake detail on the end there. There's nothing really to see inside, but I did want to show you the top of the model. So here it is. And looking at the bottom, these are the discharge gates I was talking about. And if you look at them carefully, you can see that the ballast is supposed to come out the sides of these. So some ballast goes off to the to one side, some goes off to the other side. And it looks to me like the gates also let it off in the middle, in between here. And while I was looking at the bottom, I figured out where the weight comes from. This body is die cast. It's metal. So that's why these cars are so heavy. And then as you can see, the... Uh, knuckle couplers are truck mounted. Now we'll work our way backwards with the Burlington Northern one. You can see the uh, truck mounted knuckle couplers here. And the discharge gate detail is a little bit more visible on this brown one. And it does look like the ballast would come out each side of each gate. The brown one also doesn't have a whole lot to see inside, just like the other one. You can see it has a separately applied brake wheel and again I'm, I'm trying to show there's in here kind of in the back here there's some molded brake cylinder 
air reservoir detail there. I just can't, it's hard to see on the screen on the camera, so I, I can't tell if you're able to see that, but it is there. <laughs> Trust me, if you order one of these, it'll have a molded brake detail behind this ladder on the B end. So the cool thing on the Burlington Northern one is none of the writing or logos or anything bridge these ribs. So it's all crystal clear. Once again, if, if you're looking with extreme magnification, you can read most of the lettering there. Some of it's just too small to make out. All right, so that's a look at the 41 foot ballast hoppers. Let's take a look at those pulpwood flat cars. Looking at Atlas's website, I found these available in seven different road names, two road numbers each. Their price is $29.95. Now looking at the paint, I do want to mention that the small writing down in here is especially impressive because as small as this looks on camera and to my eye as I'm looking at it, it's really crisp and I could read all of it. Some of the tiniest writing over here you can't see even with the magnifying lens. So, but they look good. I mean the presentation overall when you pull them out of the box is, wow, these look really good. Okay, so what I've done here is I have the Kansas City Southern one with the brake end exposed and then the CSX one has the A end exposed. And just so you can see what the brake end looks like and the A end at the same time, and again, you know, the writing up in here, uh, what I was talking about when we were looking at the side, you can read that and up in here as well. You can read all that. And as you can probably see from this angle, they have truck mounted knuckle couplers there. As you can see, there is some detail in the deck. And then looking at the bottom, you can see some molded brake detail in here. And again, these are truck mounted knuckle couplers. I think these are very nice models. I'm especially fond of those pulpwood flat cars because you don't see those too often in scale models. And also I really like the hoppers because everybody needs a maintenance of way train. And by filling a train with those three packs, you can get a pretty long train pretty fast. And maintenance of way trains tend to be cobbled together out of whatever organizations can find so it wouldn't be unusual to see some old beat up Canadian Pacific hoppers for example with your nicer Burlington Northern hoppers so you could weather the CP ones and put that in a train with the BN ones and it would look okay so thanks Atlas for another great end scale Friday and I'll see you next time